This is Rugen. Rugen is a small island nation in the Baltic, but with a dark secret. They don't look like much, but by playing as them, you can become a pirate Catholic prince of the HRE, and it is beautiful. Today, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. But in typical fashion, the game decided to really embrace the alternate history tag and do weird things. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I'll tease you with this. Tver fighting war against Poland-Lithuania for the Muscovite throne. I'm not really going to make videos people don't enjoy, so if you want to see more of this campaign, be sure to like the video. With 5,000 likes, that tells me people are enjoying it enough to warrant more. So if you do watch the video and end up liking it, make sure to vote. Also, we're just about touching 50,000 subscribers, so if you could tip us over the edge, that would really help us out. Now, onto the depravity that is the Rugen Pirate Republic. Right, so some of you might be wondering, why is he playing as Rugen? Uh, and who are Rugen? And what is Rugen? Rugen is an island nation over here, and as to why, well, here's why. This is why. So, uh, the Pirates of Rugen. Um, we can actually become a pirate republic, a German pirate republic, right off the bat. And that's amazing. So we're gonna be following in the footsteps of Klaus Dortbecker and his band of like dealers. And as pirates, we're going to immediately alienate everyone by raiding. So for those of you who haven't seen this nation before, um, it's amazing. I am now a pirate republic that operates in the HRE, and I'm Catholic. Right, so we now have 300 ducats and quite a few uh, sailors. So what we need to do is build up a navy so then we can protect our fair island. We are a vassal of this guy. So hopefully some of his rivals weren't on the coast and every single one of them were. Well, that sucks. <laughs> If I hadn't raided, I might have been able to steal? <laughs> the second most likely. Okay. I was about to say that we uh, start with only a three development province, but it turns out I was wrong. We have one extra base tax. Someone's, I don't know, making furniture or something. That's, oh, that's, that's the big thing around here. Jesus Christ, we're poor. Okay, so I can either spend two ducats or lose a stability. Jesus Christ. Once you don't know, the, uh, the Pirate Republic government tree is insane. Got really, really cool things like War Against the World Doctrine and Council of Captains and it's just really cool stuff. I feel like we're not going to make any coastal friends. It's all going to be inland until we figure out how to navigate rivers, in which case, man, they're going to hate me as well. Also, pirates have a unique um, tree, like the piratical, piratical tree or something like that, and it's, it's pretty cool. I like that. I don't think there's anything else we could do. We just sort of have to declare war and hope. I mean, this could be the end of it right here. We are fighting against Berg, but here we go. All right, Whoa, let's do this. All right, we've won that first engagement, which is good, and we need to win this. Yes, brilliant, stack wipe, okay, okay. Right, before Berg can get here, we need to spread out. Oh, I think we've got that. Absolutely nailed it. Brilliant, right. And we captured some of their ships, and we've got the next Miltech. This is this has gone remarkably well. This is, this is good, this is very good, because I was concerned, because obviously I've never played Rugen, because who the hell has played Rugen? Right, I'm just doing this because I want to fight them, really. <laughs> There's no need. Plunder and tyranny, I suppose, is the order of the day. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. Right, have we finished raiding? We have not. Look at that. And now suddenly Rugen is a bit bigger. Okay. Um. There's something on the screen right now that I've just seen. Everything is normal in this game, right? Novgorod's been beaten by Muscovy and is about to be beaten again, it looks like. Um, the Ottomans have taken out Constantinople. Granada is been eaten. Didn't expect England to win the Hundred Years' War. Okay. English France, you you do you. I'm clicking this not because I am going to construct anything, but because I don't want this stupid pop-up on screen. Oh, we could be defender of the Catholic faith whilst being <laughs> pirates. Very, very Catholic we are, you know. Doesn't look like the whole Danzig thing has happened, so I think I should probably get in there before anything else. <laughs> You're allied to Poland and the Teutons. Truly, the peacemaker in our midst. Ah, uh, no time like the present. I... Mm. I probably can't win this. I'm gonna try. I just had a really cursed thought and it was the Prussian Re Pirate Republic. I don't, it's not possible, but it was. Right, let's do this. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's a lot of troops. That's a lot of troops. That's that's quite a few of troops. Yeah, that's 18,000 troops and I have 9,000. Okay, right, this is gonna get dicey. I have a plan. It's not a good one. I can't beat all these troops, but if I piece out Mecklenburg, that should. Yep, black flag. Livonian order. Leaving me free to attack these guys. Okay, now I need a decent general. Get a decent general. A 2-2, not great. Not the worst. Stand here, bring the navy out so they have nowhere to retreat to. That quite them. There you go, and they're all gone. Okay, now we need to go. Now we need to go, okay. So I'm, I'm still outnumbered, significantly. 
but less so. Okay, did I catch them? Finally, my god, okay. We're actually getting more ships the more we fight. Okay, let us make sure these ships don't die. The Volgas the Separatists, who have probably no right of being here, are just gonna... They just... Oh dear. Yep, they killed them. Wait, I can raid my own land? <laughs> I just raided Wolgast and Stralsen. Why? They're occupied by rebels, and I was like, that, yeah, that's that's cause enough to raid the lands that I want to control. Dark Worker died in the... Can I just... I know, he's, I know he's dead, but can we pretend he's not dead for the... Thank you. Just wanted to pretend he wasn't dead for the duration of the battle. Experience and dreaded captain. Right, Hans Bay. Ooh, he's a 4-2 navally. Brilliant. Excellent. Right, that's 100% against the Teutons. Yeah, had to quickly run away from the pretender, uh, from the uh, Polish peasant, because I know how that one ends. I saw what happened to uh, to Stettin. See? See? That would have been the end of me. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Right, we have taken more of the... This is more of a coastal challenge at this point. Brandenburg announced me as the new rival. Hmm. This much wants an alliance. Peasant's Republic and Pirate Republic teaming up. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Granada, they could come back. They can definitely come back. Meanwhile, though, England and France have sort of split France between them. England's in control of the south and France in control of the north. Brilliant. Also, England, yes, they finally figured out continuous land borders. The Genoese conquest of Corinth. Uh, all right, Genoa. You do you. Oh, the Ottomans are going to be big and scary in this game. They've already taken out Canula. We're taking naval like this. <laughs> And then we're going to take maritime ideas after that. It's pure navy. I want a cog of mine to be able to sink the entire British navy. This is what I want. The human conquest of Oberdens. Did England not come in? No, they didn't. They have no allies. Can they do this? Oh! Oh, Bohemia. Jesus. Seeing as we are a pirate republic, it seems only fitting that we uh, privateer a little bit. So let's get our, our admiral on this, because why not? Um, and let's privateer. Oh, they did it. They took three provinces. Do you have any allies still? No, I could ally you. I'm not going to do that out of respect for what Bohemia achieved. Bohemia, will you ally me? I might have to ally Austria out of outrage for what Bohemia did to them. France is actually getting destroyed. This is going to be one scary England. Look, Morocco and Tunis are hugging Telemsis. We make a lot of money. Uh, Bohemia, will you ally me, please? He has too many diplomatic reputations. But, like, just one more. Doesn't hurt. Fine, it's just me and Diff Martian. I don't care about anyone anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> they did it. The Mad Lads took Paris. Sure, the, the Burgundians are going to want that back. But there's no real, like, continental counterweight because Austria is dead. This game's going to get really weird now because usually France keeps England in check. Bohemia can't do anything without Austria saying so. But Austria... I, I like, that. I mean, they've been neutered, which means Burgundy's probably going to get beaten up by England. I just... That's going to be a sick, sick campaign. Ah, the Byzantines have taken back! Look, they took... They took... I can't believe this! They're winning! The Byzantines are winning! I mean, they're going to get eaten by the Ottomans very, very quickly, and the Ottomans are already taking out the Mamluks. This is a fast-paced game. Muscovy's taking out Crimea. I, and I insulted Poland. Oh, God. Right, Muscovy, please. I need an ally. Didn't another alliances, so Mecklenburg's still allied to Poland. And and how is the Emperor? It's a weird game! Ring the bell, lads! Ring the bell! We got a weird game alert. No, wait, France is here we go. Attack against Provence. And France is brought Okay, no, I'm gonna stop commentating. It's too weird. He's now going after Hungary. Jesus Christ! They're like two provinces away from me. Oh, the Byzantines, they took, they took the Genoese one. Excellent. Look at that. They're now a five province one. They took Athens. Right, well, that's... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, right, I completely forgot about the whole attacking the Livonians thing. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, God, I also forgot about the whole raiding thing. All right, lads, one second. I just need to take all your things. This is why I can't have friends. Yeah, there we go. God, I'm so rich. Why make money when you can take from someone else? All right, I need to be careful not to raid. Oh my, okay. The Livonians have expanded into Novgorod. What's my maximum sailors? My maximum sailors are 2,000, but I currently have 11,000 people waiting. Right, that's privateer efficiency plus 15%, as well as uh, <laughs> naval land leader, naval leader fire, naval land leader. That's not what we do here. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Holding and privateer 
efficiency, and it's a light ship. I'm going to call it Danzig for some reason. Now Poland is calling, is, is attacking them. Okay, yeah, there goes there go the Byzantines because the Ottomans are going to destroy them. Oh boy. Now let's see how well my my actual navy fights because it should be quite good considering I have naval ideas. And why else have naval ideas, you know? Okay, right, there's Riga done. <laughs> okay, so I uh, I right clicked on Muscovy because um, I want to see if they would ally me. They're under a personal union of Tibet. <laughs> and I can support their independence. Instead, I'm going to try and ally Tibet. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, I suppose because Poland's down here, they're actually, they've contested it. Oh no, there's no personal union. Oh, there is. So they have, they're contesting it. They, they want Muscovy as a, uh, as a vassal for themselves. I think, I think Poland's about to get really strong. I think Poland's about to get very strong indeed. Oh god. Poland's gonna get a Poland Union over Muscovy if I don't help. There's only one thing I can do and that's get Gilly naval tradition plus one. They just fought them to a draw. They really did just fight them to a draw, okay. That is, uh, that is interesting. I'm not sure. Just white piece them, I suppose. I'm losing 10 ducats a month, why? 6.5 from fleet maintenance. I mean, I do have 46 ships. Okay, I don't need all these cogs. I want to get rid of probably all of them. I don't actually have to take this fort to, to actually, you know, have it. Um, I am going to take all this stuff. Uh, I shouldn't, and I know I shouldn't. But that means I will. Poland will join a coalition against me. Well, we'll see about that one. Can I ally you yet? Just let me help! Right, we've got a light to the there. I don't know why, this is just, uh, yeah, that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. We're fighting 33,000 men. It's definitely one of those moments that I regret doing something, but I'm here now and the audience would crucify me if I didn't help out, so it's time to whip out that discipline, get myself an advisor, and, and leave the navy behind. Well, there's no, there's no advisor available. Brilliant. Yeah, we're going into debt to fight this. I'm not, I'm not letting him die. Get rid of the cogs. We're fighting so Tver can keep his vassal. All right, I've got a... I can make it. I can make it. I can help. I can help. Okay. Screw it. We're going to go straight into the, <laughs> into the Muscovite troops. <laughs> Here we go, lads. Wish me luck. Ow. Oh. Okay. All right, we're going to press this advantage. Okay, I do not have the manpower. Or, I mean, there's so many rebels going to happen back at home. This is bad. This is real bad. God, I don't have the manpower for this. I don't have anything for this. Um... They are on low though, so if we could we, we, we win this war? Jesus Christ. I tell you what, Tavir knows how to scrap. Uh, that's not what I needed. If you could just stay down there for a little while. They just keep on coming out of peace. Oh, there goes Ryzan. They won on 7%. I've been stuck on 42%. My land is getting ravaged. I shouldn't be here. They did it. They took land and they still have them under a personal union. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I, I, I was just sitting there scrapping for as long as I could. I was going to have to leave in a second. Oh, that's amazing. Right, time to sort out my land. The issue with uh, taking the coastal provinces is that I raid the coastal provinces. And I can't raid myself. Well, I, mean, I technically already have raided myself before, so I, that's not strictly true. No valid targets. Uh, what about this valid target right here? Oh, Wallachia took out Hungary, but uh, they paid the price in Ottomans. Oh, there we go. The English are taking out the Burgundians, as I predicted. Why does Aragon have this? Why does Aragon have Scilly? But Scilly also got released. Scilly has moved provinces, but Aragon has one, and it's a full core. It was annexed by Scilly, and then it became a core of Aragon. That Tavir thing is amazing, though. I'm going to have to fight again in how many years? Eight years. Ah, uh, this is gonna... Okay, so the English got out, to be fair to them. They did, they pieced out for a province. Um, but this is gonna happen. They are under a personal union of Al, who is also the Holy Roman Emperor. Devere, man, you, I, I, this is a bad time for me. I don't know, I don't know why you're doing this. This is a real bad time, but just screw it. Fine, I'm coming. Just, just, just hold off a second. Devere... I like you, I really do. But you gotta give me a bit more warning than that. Oh, it's that time again, we could take the next naval idea. Brilliant. 
Okay. So, and how had them, and then they they broke them up, and there these places are all independent things of the HRE now. Is that what you're telling me? Yep, they did that. Okay. So you're trying to reform the empire, and I'm here for it, Anhel. But I there's England. This is just free land for England. Oh, Picardy is also yep. Picardy is also a HRE prince. This is free land for England because you are not the biggest and baddest. And I've just realised that if I'm allied to you, I've been roped into defending the empire. Just me, you, and Brandenburg against the world. Correct. Why not? Why the hell not? Oh, so you gave me what? Two provinces. Oh, three provinces. Excellent. Well, you know what, Tavir, you're right. I will, I will fight to defend you. How about that? I found a way to make myself a lot more money, and it's called not pirating the trade node that you have the most amount of value in. I don't think I mentioned that much in terms of Wars of War, but I do make it plus five now in terms of trade instead of plus one. So that was... For those of you screaming your screen that entire time, that's, that's my bad. The Austrians are going after the Bohemians now. Here we go. And Ferrara is in control of Navarre. Why? No, the Byzantines still exist! They're on the island of Chios. And the Bohemians are now taking out the Austrians. It looks like, oh no, they've trade capitals. Renaissance Court. Well, you know what, uh, to finish off this video, uh, I'm going to have to be taking uh, <laughs> maritime ideas. We're going to be so navally overpowered, it's going to be ridiculous. Right, so I think we're setting the bar pretty high uh, to, should we say, earn the next episode. Um, I think it's going to be 5,000 likes, because that tells me that you're engaged, you're interested, you want to see more of the, uh, the German pirates of Rugen as we sort of conquer our way around the Baltic, I suppose. I don't know what's going to happen next. We've got England taking over France, Tver and their Muscovite vassal that I'm going to have to constantly fight to defend, and the the Ottomans are just big and scary, really. Those are the main players, I think. Oh, and I suppose and help, but they sort of relinquish their relevance by giving up the Low Countries. Make sure to like this video if you want to see more of this, and please do remember to subscribe, because it also helps us out a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time, because this is a real interesting campaign.